Aufzeichnung des Gebäudes dann gemacht. Und dann sind beide Gebäude runter. Alles klar. I was in the sixth grade, seventh grade, and my family was living in Germany at the time. My dad was in the Air Force, so I spent some time overseas. So my perspective on September 11th is a little bit different. September 11th, 2001, in our little town of Hampstead, Maryland. So what started as a, any other day didn't end like any other day. Around 9.30, a member of our church came bursting into our staff meeting with some news that the Pentagon had been struck. But I looked at the television and just could not believe what I was seeing. It was like watching a movie, um, just the chaos and the confusion. And, and my daughter was seven months pregnant and her husband worked at Dulles Airport and he was a firefighter and EMT. He called us and said, I have to head over to the Pentagon. Would you please check on Jenny and make sure she, she's okay and she's not too uh, afraid. Of course, the reaction was to find my wife and my kids and to hug them and to just be with them. And I remember the way that the world responded and the way it felt over those next few days as we did not know what was gonna happen next. Specifically remember how they would come and just lay flowers at the entrance of the base. And, uh, and the German military and the German police surrounded our base with their, um, with their armored vehicles and their tanks just to make us feel like we were secure. Just trying to understand that whole concept of where God's at in this. Um, and then realizing that, you know, it's nothing new to him. We prayed that our country would come together, and it did. We saw flags appear on houses and on cars, uh, flags waving everywhere. Uh, it was great. And I think it's important that we teach our kids and our grandkids about 9-11 to remember the sacrifice that people made so that we could be here where we are today. I think the biggest thing to remember you know, is that our, our hope can't be taken away. We're 20 years later in the moment. It seems really dark. Um, and everything seemed lost, and, and, it, and it was for the most part, but here we are in 2021, 20 years later, and life still goes on, the world still turns, um, we still have a God who cares, a God who loves us. I think that's been the most positive impact that I can pull from that experience, is trying to pour into the kids so that we can change this world, you know, that we can change the views, that that kids can grow up in environments where they can build a strong foundation on the way, the truth, and the life, and that's Jesus.